Now let's say these two lines here, let's say name this y1, this is y2. So these two lines are parallel. So when these two lines are parallel, okay, this means like y1 parallel to y2, this means that they have the same gradient. Okay, so m1 is equal to m2. So this is y1, let's say this gradient 1, m1. And then this one name it's m2. So therefore, because of these two lines are parallel, so they must have the same gradient. So we're going to use this to do the following questions. So let's say these two lines here, are they parallel? So to, to find out whether they're parallel or not, we need to find the gradient. If the gradient are the same, they are parallel. If not, they're not. As simple as that. So now, this one, this equation here is in the form of y equal mx plus b already. So this is gradient intercept form. So therefore, in front of x is m. So the gradient of this line here is negative 5. And this one here, the second one, the gradient, the coefficient of x is minus 5. So because this is, can be written as minus 5x, if you like, if you cannot see in this way, so you can rearrange it. So now the gradient of this one, we name that is m2, which is equal to negative 5. So both are the same. So m1 equal m2 equal negative 5. Both gradient are the same. So therefore, they are the same gradient. So therefore, they are parallel. Now this equation, both equation here. So one of this is already in gradient intercept form. So gradient of this one is negative 2. In order to find the gradient of this line here, because this one is general form. So we need to rearrange equal y equal mx plus b first. So what I do, I move the 4x on this side and I move the 5 on this side. So this on the left leave with me 2y is equal to minus 4x minus 5. Then I divide everything by 2 because I want to make I want to make y as a subject. So I divide by minus 2, I divide by 2 there, I divide by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So negative 2x minus 2.5. There you go. So therefore, the gradient of this one, second one, is negative 2. So now, therefore, I write here, m1 is equal to m2, which is minus 2. So therefore, they are parallel. Okay, so the m is to look for the gradient. If they're the same gradient, they're parallel. If not, they're not. So this one here, in general form again, I convert into gradient intercept form first. So I move on this side. So this means 2x minus 6 equal to 3y. Then I divide by everything by 3, divide this by 3, divide this by 3, you cancel out. So 2 over 3x minus 6 over 3 is 2 equal y. So now the gradient of this m1 equal 2 over 3 because the gradient is a coefficient of x because it's already in gradient 1 to set form. This one here, I move the y on this side and this negative 7 on that side. So minus y, move on this side, become positive y. 5x, I just write this down. Minus 7, move on this side, become plus 7. So now, the gradient of this is 5. So now the gradient of the first line is different from the second one. So just go M1 is not the same as M2. So therefore, they are not parallel. Okay, this one here. So applications of um, parallel lines. Because it's problem solving. Find the Find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equal negative 2x plus 3 and passes through point 1 minus 1. So we need to follow the process. Now remember, step number 1, we find the point x and y. In this case, the point is this. Step number 2, we find the gradient first. 
And step number three, we teach you this formula. Y minus Y1 equal M X minus X1. That's all. We just follow this. So we have the point already. 1 minus 1. Now to find the gradient. Because they said parallel to this line here. So we find the gradient by looking at this gradient here. So the gradient of this M1 is equal to M2. But the M of this is two, negative 2. So we already have that minus 2. So therefore the gradient of the line is minus 2. Which passing through the point 1, negative 1. So this is the point. Now, we just use this equation here to find out. So y minus y1 equal m x minus x1. So now, this is x1, this is y1. I just put in a formula. So y minus x1 is 1 is equal to minus 2, open bracket. x is, is x, x1 is 1, so I just minus 1. Then I just expand it, so y minus 1 is equal to minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus 1 is 2, so plus 2. Then I remove this on that side, so y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. That is the gradient, I mean the equation of the line that has the same gradient of this equation here and plus through this point. So that's the answer. This question here. Now, find the equation of the line that is par that is parallel to 2x plus 3y plus 3 equal to 0 and cuts the y-axis at negative 5. So to do this, parallel, that means the same gradient as this one. And passing through y-axis at negative 5. So cut at negative 5, that means the line goes something like that. So cut at negative 5 here. So at this point, you can write as 0 minus 5. So this is the point. Okay, so 0, negative 5. That's, that's the, um, the point. I just clear this first. I rewrite that so you know that is the point of this is 0 minus 5. Again, we follow the process. Step number one, I find the point. Step number two, I find the gradient. And then I use the um, point formulas, gradient point formula, y minus y1 equal m x minus x1. So now I know the point already. To find the gradient, I find the gradient of this line here. It will give me the gradient, okay, for the other one. So before I do anything, I rearrange in gradient into set form first because this is general form. So 3y is equal to, I move the 2x on that side, which is minus 2x. And I move the 3 on this side, become minus 3. Now I divide everything by 3. So I divide by 3 because I want to make y as a subject. I divide by 3. So now y is equal to minus 2 over 3x minus 1. So now the gradient is negative 2 over 3. So now I have the gradient now, so that I have the point. The point is 0 minus 5 and the gradient is minus 2 over 3. So now the, I just use these formulas. y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So y1 x1 or x1 y1 is 0 minus 5. That's a point. So I just put in formula here. So y minus minus 5. I just write that down first. m is minus 2 over 3. And then x minus x is 0. x1 is 0. So that's all. So a negative negative give you a positive. So y plus 5 is equal to this time together is minus 2 over 3 x. And then times 0 give me 0. So I just, that's the answer for that. Then I move the 5 on the other side. So I write here. So therefore, y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 5. 
Of course, you can um, ch change it into general form by time three on both sides. But at the moment, I'm just writing this form. It graded into set form. Now, of course, you can do a quicker way, a different method because you, we're not going to use this. It's a quicker way because I gave you y intercept at negative 5. Or I can do a faster way by using y equal mx plus b in this case. So let's say I got the point already, 0. I have the point which is 0 minus 5. So and the gradient is this. Remember y equal mx plus b. Now in this case, b is negative 5. And then m is this, 2 third negative, negative 2 third, see, and x. So I have that already, this for m. Then b is minus 5, so just write it down. That easier because it gave you one to set. But you certainly can follow the other method. There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you so much for watching.